this is another tutorial uh, for basic SEO for Weebly websites uh, and getting your Weebly websites indexed and uh, listed in major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing, etc. Okay, so for the purpose of demonstrating how to uh, set up your website for Weebly and then get to work on the SEO portion, um, what I did was I just basically uh, set up a regular uh, website for business and um, you can use any template that you want because the SEO concept and everything else of actually inputting in the data is pretty much more or less the same for all of the sites regardless of what type. So for this case I'll go ahead and choose uh, clean lines and press select. Next, uh, you will need to choose a domain name. Um, you have three options here. Uh, first one is using a subdomain of Weebly.com. Second is registering a new domain. And third is uh, connecting a domain you already own. But for this sample, what I'm gonna do is uh, select the use subdomain of Weebly.com. Okay, because um, Using subdomains of Weebly, so many uh, free websites are already taken, so it's going to be quite difficult to find an actual name for your business. Um, but for my case, um, I'll put in something like Weebly SEO Search Okay, so you have your website now set up. Um, and you loaded all your pictures and you you know loaded all your text and everything else the next thing to do is if you look at the top menu there should be a uh, link where it says pages you just go in there and uh, click on uh, the page that you want to start doing the SEO uh, stuff for so for this case I'm starting with the home page and uh, within the home page you'll see an advanced button so where it says page title this is where you want to put information very relevant to your website's contents so this is basically the uh, the link that's gonna pop up on uh, search engine results so for this website I'll put in something like SEO for Weebly websites okay so after you get that done you want to fill out a page just description excuse me um, again you know it's gonna just basically detail out what your website's content is about for the users to basically get a, uh, a brief overview before actually clicking onto your website and um, here are some samples okay so uh, I actually put in a keyword or uh, as hello there and uh, got back this website link so the top is a page uh, title and the bottom portion is basically your page description okay so the general rule of thumb for page title you should be keeping your characters maximum 70 characters including spaces and for your page description maximum of 160 characters including spaces okay so you want to use uh, a distinctive unique page title for each of the pages that you have set up on your website as well as unique uh, page descriptions and uh, not to be you know copy and pasting using the same thing over and over for all of your pages So after uh, you have those two completed, we then get into meta keywords. Meta keywords are not so heavily emphasized nowadays uh, as versus uh, a few years back, but it is still good and wise to you know put in keywords uh, that's relevant to the contents of your website again. And you want to separate each keyword uh, with a comma. Next you'll see uh, two more sections where it indicates footer code and header code. Footer codes are basically for Google Analytics or Bing Analytics uh, where you put in a, some type of a code that they give you to track your website visitors in more details. And header code is uh, a code that they also give you in Webmaster Tools for uh, verification of your websites and ownership of your website. So unless you're really well versed with coding with footers and uh, header codes, we're gonna just skip it for now. Okay, so you want to make sure you do that for every single page that you've set up on your website. Um, 
In regards to like header types, you have available, you know, tall header, short header, no header, a landing page, splash page, title page. Um, what you want to do is you want to just use one landing page and everything else you just set it up as tall header, short header, or no header. And one more important thing is that you want to keep each of the pages to a unique page title with unique uh, page descriptions. So this next section basically uh, explains how you need to set up your pictures for all the images that you've uploaded onto your website so, so that uh, the search engines can find each of these pictures. Uh, you have to realize that when search engines crawl your website, uh, they don't actually get to see the image. It's actually a coded uh, system where they just crawl your website and they get basic information from what you coded uh, your pictures to be. So this uh, basically shows you uh, step by step on how to do that. Okay, so for all the images that you used uh, to upload onto your website, when you click on the image, you'll get a little small open uh, window, uh, just like this. And when you click on advanced, you'll see an area where it says alt text. This is where you put in your description for the image that you just uploaded onto your website. This is very important for a website that uses a lot of uh, images and um, it's required to uh, enter uh, alt text descriptions for every single image that you load onto your website. And other options that's made available when you click on your uh, image is you know linking your uh, image to another part of your website or another URL, perhaps email, a particular file. So kind of play around with it to see, you know, what kind of functions and uh, things that you can do with this uh, image uh, menu. Okay, so now that you got everything uh, set, uh, it's time to submit your URL to the search engines. So there are many ways to do this, but the easiest way would be actually going into a search engine and type in something like submit URL, uh, submit URL to Google, submit URL to Yahoo, uh, Bing, etc, etc. So click on the link and uh, enter your URL, the uh, domain name of your website into the URL box and uh, just simply submit request. So after you've done that, check back in a few days because it usually takes search engines a few days to list your website. So just check back often in a few days. For more information on tools and tips about SEO and getting your websites listed, visit us at the web at www.grainbarn.com.